This is Jason Newton along the old Connecticut path in Woodstock, Connecticut. We followed the route of the old Connecticut path up Child Hill Road to the common in the center of Woodstock. Our travels along the old Connecticut path have brought us here to Plain Hill in the center of Woodstock and the Woodstock Common. We'll take a few moments to explore the common and then head west from here following the old Connecticut path. Woodstock is a place of great history in the Old Connecticut Path and in later settlement. The original settlers to Woodstock came from Roxbury and settled here in 1686. Just across the street from the Woodstock Common is the Roseland Cottage, which is open for tours from June to October and was owned by the Bowen family a prominent family here in Woodstock and among those who were early settlers in the town. A walk in the gardens of Roseland Cottage makes for a pleasant stop along the way when visiting Woodstock. Clarence Bowen was a descendant of the original settlers here in Woodstock and his eight-volume history of Woodstock provides a definitive history of the town and an extensive record of the people who settled here. Across the village green, passing the Woodstock Academy, leads us over towards the ancient burial ground here in Woodstock. The old churchyard here on Plain Hill has stones standing as sentinels to the memory of the early settlers of Woodstock, going back to the early 1700s. Further down the green in Woodstock, we come to the Woodstock Historical Society, which provides a great place of resources and exhibits on the history of Woodstock, including information about the history of the old Connecticut path. The efforts of Woodstock residents, including Clarence Bowen, Lloyd Williams, Dick Potter, and other longtime residents, over the course of decades provided the record necessary to ensure that the Old Connecticut Path in Woodstock is part of the National Register of Historic Places. The Palmer Arboretum is located directly to the back of the Historical Society and provides a place for walking and quiet enjoyment here in Woodstock that's easily accessible from the Historical Society grounds. As we return to the route of the old Connecticut path, following back up the Woodstock Common and Child Hill Road, we reach the junction of Hall Road. From the junction of Hall Road, we'll follow the old Connecticut path route that's now part of the National Historic Register. And we're headed west towards our final stops for the day. Just a short walk down Hall Road from the Common in Woodstock brings us to Elliot's Rock, where Reverend John Elliot, the Apostle to the Indians, preached to the Webequasset praying village that was established here by him for the conversion of the natives to Christianity. Reverend Elliot's work in spreading the gospel to the native people led to the establishment of a series of praying villages and towns, and one was here in Woodstock. And much of the record that we have that has, helps us to understand the root of the old Connecticut path came from looking at the records of travel by John Eliot and his visits to the praying villages and towns along the way. From Elliot Rock, we travel just a short distance on our walk along the old Connecticut path to reach Pulpit Rock Road. And we'll descend here to visit the site of the Pulpit Rock. Now the inscription on the stone is difficult to read at this point, but it tells the story of Pulpit Rock being the place where the first settlers came for an open air church meetings 
before they built their meeting house in 1686. From Pulpit Rock Road, the trail ascends Westward Hill, and at the top of the hill we can look back to the northeast and see the hills that we've crossed on our way to Woodstock. From the summit of Westward Hill, the path descends to the what may be the oldest highway in America, crossing the wetlands on an ancient stone bridge and over a portion of Fort Hill to reach Rocky Hill Road on its journey west. The Woodstock Historical Society and the Last Green Valley periodically sponsor guided walks along this portion of the old Connecticut path. For more information about our walk here in Woodstock, along this portion of the old Connecticut path that has been recognized in the National Register of Historic Places, and contacts for the Woodstock Historical Society and Last Green Valley, please visit the Old Connecticut Path website.